Hey peeps, good to see you. It's your favorite guy here, Scotty G, the retirement guy. You know, a lot of times I put some funny videos up and uh, sometimes they're educational. I did one a uh, little review of a new coffee machine I bought. Today I'm going to do a little review of a problem with these refrigerators. Um, I've got an LG side-by-side -side, and these come in LG and GE and Sears and so many. And the fun thing about them is, you know, they're nice. They got nice ice machines, cold water. Um, but the way they make ice in these kind of side-by-sides is weird. They've all got these slim, as you can see here, this slim, spacious ice system. And they're kind of great, but what I've learned, this is my second refrigerator like this, that they cause problems. And um, mostly they cause a problem because, again, it looks nice, nice, small, slim fit. You can get a lot more food in, but there's some refrigeration issues, freezer issues, and dispensing issues. So. We're going to talk about some things that I found while trying to learn how to fix this, because part of it wasn't working, um, and show you how to take care of it so you can get ice. Because I've got water, it makes ice, but the ice doesn't suspense. And when you happen to look up all the reviews, or I guess I should say if you happen to look up many of the um, instructional videos, they basically tell you, push this button, make sure the door's closed, make sure something over here isn't locked. I mean, they really don't tell you how to do anything other than call the repairman. So, retirement guy, repairman. If you happen to like this, be sure to hit the like button below and also subscribe. You know, retirement guys need to make money somehow, so when I get more subscribers, we're off on it. You can either learn things practical things on what to do, or just look at all the stupid, funny stuff that Scotty G gets into. So, we'll catch up here in a second. So my problem with uh, our refrigerator is a little bit different than everybody else. I look at reviews and it doesn't make ice or it doesn't dispense water and it talks about a sensor being out in one side or something here being locked, but um, as you can see, oh, I got all kinds of good water. And then if I uh, do this little magic trick over here, my situation, I open it up. Oh, look at that. That's full. All kinds of ice. I never have a problem making ice. It can make it normal mode, quick mode. So currently to offset what I'm doing, I make some ice and put it in the ice drawer. However, the technical problem, well, I don't know how technical it could be. Look at this. Oh, it makes a noise. The door opens. Nothing. I got nada. So all of the evaluations I saw were just make sure that this sensor is working, this sensor is working, because if the door's closed, this nothing will dispense. But again, I get water and I make ice, so I have a completely different situation. It's just dispensing the ice. And um, I took some of this apart, so I'm going to take it apart again, let you know what I think is wrong, and then put it back together, and hopefully... Bam! Scotty G's on it. Well, the good news, bad news about this video is going to be the fact that you're going to see things, but you're going to miss the wonderful facial features of Scotty G, the retirement guy. So again, we've got the refrigerator. I'm opening up my freezer door. You see, I've got all kinds of good yummy stuff in there. Um, but if you open up this latch here, you get yourself to the whole refrigeration freezer ice making side and I suppose I probably got to go like that a little bit because you know some stuff is just closer and farther away um, so I'm going to do this a little bit different since I'm just kind of swagging it as we go you can see where the ice maker is and uh, where the ice tray is so again this works perfectly I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to try to dump ice while I'm working on it. And this comes out very simply. You guys have probably done this before. One-handed with the camera is a little bit different. Oh, that was exciting as hell. So I'm just going to take my ice out. Yeah. But now here, well, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to make my little beeping noise because the door's open. So what I did, you know, I looked down there. Yep. Yeah. By gosh, look at that. That opens and closes fine. Pretty sealed. All the seals around are fine. And I'm like, hmm, why doesn't that turn? Look at this darn thing. 
I've tried turning that and turning that, and um, it turns out that that connects right in there. And this is how the ice dispenses. So when you turn this, it turns a small rotation knob inside the ice tray, and son of a gun, the ice comes out to shoot. So I'm like, wow, Scotty G, what's that all about? How come that's stuck? So, you know what? If I didn't do anything, I'd pay somebody probably 800 bucks or a thousand bucks to come and fix it. So if I look up a couple of videos and see how to take stuff apart and fix it myself, I might save some cash. I'm not going to break anything because it's already broken. So I'm not going to show you some of the boring part because uh, basically I've got to take out this screw and this screw and that screw, which I'll do, and then this entire unit kind of slips out. Um, it slips out behind this and there's a wiring harness I'll disconnect. So I'll show you what it looks like when I have it apart. So I've removed a few screws. You just basically pull the bottom of this out, slide it down. You can see this wiring harness up here. I just gotta give it a little twist and a little pull. And you know how it goes. Sometimes it works great. And sometimes it takes a minute. So that happened there. Of course, don't you know, I just filled the ice maker with water, so I'm leaking a little water. Um, ha, your man will be back. Hmm. All right. So now the question you're going to have here is here's the front side we looked at. Like, whoa, Scotty G, that's pretty intense. What's going on there? Well, Again, look at this. This thing doesn't move at all. And son of a gun, it turns out that's the actuator, small motor with gears that makes that turn. And I think mine just happens to be all jammed up. So, the simplistic part, I say simplistic, I haven't really done this, so I don't know what's going to happen. You can see up here, if I'm intelligent enough, you can see up here, Pull that clip off, take the wiring off, around, up, down, around. All I've got to do is I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the ground wire from this side, which I know you guys are always so interested in watching me do all of my detailed work and Somebody's got to do it, that's all I can say. So now all the wiring is disconnected. On this side, I've got to take the little, uh, I'm going to say the connection piece off. Nothing always works quite easy and simple for the retirement guy, which is okay because when you're retired, you got time to check it out. So I take that off and undo these two mounting screws, and there's one, and here we go, number two. I'm sure you enjoy seeing all of this hard work. Take those two screws out, oh, look at that. So that came off the back. You can see here um, where this has our nice uh, uh, basically our nice motor and drive and gearing to uh, dispense the ice, which again, this doesn't turn at all. So it's frozen, rusted, stuck. And uh, again, I think this refrigerator is probably four or five years old, so things start happening to these. Um, I'm just going to replace and remount, take a couple of pictures, and you'll see what we got. Well, I've got it back in, relatively easy to put back together. I certainly have a few screws to put in, so I'm going to put the mounting screws in, put the tray back in, and then we'll videotape the ice coming out of the machine. Okay, folks, here what we've got going on now. It's uh, Scotty G. You saw putting everything together. This is what really counts, guys. Lights on. Uh-oh. The door open. Yes! This is so dramatic. Man, sometimes I even know what I'm doing. 
So now I can change it to crushed ice, hopefully. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you fix a slim ice machine. Especially if you're already able to dispense water and your machine makes the ice, you don't have to change the ice maker or do anything with the water. You just need that actuator you saw me replace. So, you guys have a great day because, because your man Scotty G is on it again. See ya!